Well, I have the great pleasure of uh, introducing <coughs> my dear friend and colleague, <coughs> Jim Skinner. And Jim, that's an easy thing to do. <coughs> but let me first make a comment about, uh, about CED. <coughs> the McDonald's are very privileged to be having been selected by the board <coughs> of the Committee for Economic Development to receive this Global Leadership Award. This award was established to recognize companies and individuals who have demonstrated exceptional leadership on international policy issues, social responsibility, sustainable development, and economic growth. Now, this award is not presented each year, but rather only when a company shows exceptional merit. CED is pleased to highlight McDonald's far-reaching initiatives to make a difference in the sustainability of our environment, the sustainability of fisheries worldwide, improve work conditions, improved animal welfare, and addressing nutritional concerns and eating habits of individuals around the world. <clears throat> Along with CED, McDonald's shares a commitment to work with businesses around the globe to address the most pressing economic and social issues facing our society. I should also mention that we're proud that our colleague, Roger Stone, <clears throat> a longstanding member of McDonald's board, as it's, I also serves as a CED trustee, and he's worked with this group for many years. Now let me tell you a little bit about Jim Skinner. <clears throat> as McDonald's Vice Chair and Chief Executive Officer, Jim leads the world's largest food service company with some 32,000 restaurants in 117 countries. McDonald's serves 60 million customers each and every day and employs 1.7 million people across the globe in corporate and restaurant positions. I think we're helping the employment ranks, Jim, a little bit. <clears throat> Jim is one of the three architects of McDonald's Worldwide Revitalization Plan, launched in 2003, that turned the company around and refocused on customer strategies, business disciplines, and close global alignment. And upon becoming CEO in 2004, Jim set three top priorities for his leadership. Long-term sustainable growth for the company, talent management and leadership development, and promoting balanced, active lifestyles. Clearly, Jim's priorities are consistent with some of CED's initiatives. So it's now my distinct honor to introduce our outstanding CEO, my colleague and friend, Jim Skinner. <laughs> 